Hey everybody, I'm KK. I'm Krista. Together we are K and K Crochet. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, we're so thankful to see you again. We were tagged by Terry at Yarn Joy Podcast um, to complete a 20 question tag. So I don't um I don't think we've done this one before. We've done several, but this one's unique, I think, in a lot of ways. Some of them you may have heard before, but like I said, we have some new subscribers, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. How old were you when you learned to crochet? I was eight. I think I was six or eight. Yeah, so Kristen hasn't heard these questions, and I think I've heard, yeah, I've heard all of them, so surprise. Yeah, it's just, it's made us to, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was going to say, it may take me just a second to remember. I always just throw it on her, right? Mm -hmm. and jump right in and, and surprise her. What was the first thing you remember making? I honestly don't know. A chain. I would say probably the first thing I made was a scarf, but I don't remember. I want to say a scarf because I learned how to chain and then do single and double crochets first. What's the oldest yarn you have in your stash? I honestly don't have anything older than right now. Like, um, I have some, it, it's mainly Red Heart and a few other things. There's nothing really old. There may be a mandala in mandala somewhere that somebody gave me, but it's nothing old. I think I have some old Karen Simply Soft that a family member gave to me. I think yeah, that may probably be the so. oldest thing I have. Do you do knife grip or pencil grip? I do uh, knife grip. I do knife grip. I try and switch it up sometimes when my hand hurts, but I don't like pencil grip. Do you prefer boy or Susan Bates style hook? I prefer a boy hook. I prefer boy. It's my thing. I really like, I like the grip, I, but it has to be the ergonomic ones like this that has the the good sturdy grip on it. These, this one actually is my absolute favorite. The, the orange one is an H and it's my favorite. I do have one other hook like this, the G hook, that's a little different and I do like it. The grip is different for me, but I really do like this hook and I can't even remember what this is. I think it was Hobby Lobby. I think so. Uh, Yarnology. Yarnology. I do like these too. This is the only one I have of that, that brand, but I do like it. Kristen bought it for me. Um, favorite brand of hooks? Uh, boy. 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 Um, favorite hook size or range of sizes? I already covered these and didn't even realize it. H is my favorite, but here recently I have gravitated more to a G or an F for amigurumi, and it's an I or a J for blankets. I like G, H, or I. Like, those are the ones that I gravitate to more. Um, favorite weight of yarn? Um, four weight. I like three or four. I miss that acrylic. Acrylic mm -hmm. is not a weight. I like a four weight. I like a three weight if I'm going to make a shawl, but I don't make very many of those, so it's usually four. Um, favorite yarn fiber and why? Acrylic. It's easy to wash. It's easy to care for. Um, and I'm allergic to animal fiber, so. I agree, acrylic. Okay, and she's also allergic to some animal fiber. I keep losing my place. Let me see. Feature one of your favorite yarns. Hmm. Well, considering I didn't think about that and just came and sat down, I do have this one right here. This is Red Heart Spring Green. It's one of my favorites. I just love this color. Grinch, Christmas, um, frogs, whatever. I love that spring. Mm. I just love this color. Do you I have a favorite? I don't have it on me, but what I'm in my sun bunny with, it is Red Heart Ombre Green Apple. It's really pretty. All right. So it'd be an ombre from Red Heart like this, but it's yeah. the green apple kind. <coughs> Boy, wouldn't it be nice that made me green apple made me think, wouldn't it be nice if we could smell yarn? Mm. I know. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know we can smell. You guys know what I mean. Um, what's your favorite crochet item to make? Blankets, believe it or not. And last year it was not, but after last year it is. Mine is amigurumi, and I like hats. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you don't know, we make a lot of hats for mm -hmm. donations, so yeah. Um... Which crochet item do you least enjoy making? Hmm. Um. I would say wearables because I just, I'm busy most of the time. I don't have a lot of time to sit down and make wearables. I think I would agree with that. I'm not a big wearable maker. It's not that I don't enjoy making them. I don't know. It just seems like to me, I don't know. I, I don't think I have one that I definitely don't enjoy making 
the yeah yeah I do which crochet item do you least enjoy making one that I have to make because a friend or a family member asked me to make it and it's not something that I like to make those are the ones I least enjoy making and those are the ones I've learned to say no to yep what's wrong one crochet item you have yet to make a water bottle holder and I've got to make one today for Litz's cow from Coco's crochet a sweater because I really want to make a sweater one day you just said you don't want to make wearables. I said I don't have time, but I want to make time and make a sweater. I love you. Describe your color palette. Oh, my bright, uh, bright pinks, bright, um, like, think mandala happy. That's my color palette. Mine is like cool blues and muted greens. What is your favorite crochet hack? Um... When you mess up on a round, like an amigurumi, and you're missing a stitch, so you just increase in one of the stitches on the next round, or if you have too many, you decrease on one stitch or, or over two stitches in the next round to make up the difference so that you have the right stitch number. That, <coughs> and I like using scrap yarn with a pantyhose as stuffing. Mm hmm and something else I learned, if you make your slip knot loose at the beginning and you are missing chains, you can go back and loosen it up and add a chain at the end of the row. So you, if you just chained 180 and you were off one and you're making a blanket, you don't have to pull the whole, whole roll, row back out words. Whole row back out. You can just add it into the original. If you leave your string long enough at the beginning for your slip knot, you can add it there. You look on YouTube, Google it, you'll find it. Um, feature a pattern designer that you like and highlight one of their patterns. The one that uh, we probably use the most is Spring the Fiber Enthusiast. And recently Kristen made the Divine. messy, yeah, messy, messy bun, bun divine hat. hat. And I made the Barky Par hat. So, yeah. What's the next pattern you want to make? Ooh, I'm working on, right now, I'm working on a Grafgan. It's a deer Grafgan blanket for Christmas. Um, I have a Bigfoot pattern in a book that Rebecca Yarn in, the, in Pajamas gave me. And I, I really, that. I really, I looked at it today and I'm like, I want to make the Bigfoot in that. No big surprise there. She's a big, big, she is a huge Bigfoot fan. Yeah. Um, what is your best tip for beginners? Don't be afraid to make something because you've never made it before. Everybody starts somewhere. Just start. Start with amigurumi. <laughs> you think so? Yes. <laughs> start with amigurumi because you're going to learn the basics that you need. That's true. And then you're going to get a cute animal. That's true. Uh, tag someone to answer these questions. Okay. So we will tag somebody in the description box, I guess. So I don't know who's done it before. I think I said at the beginning we wouldn't tag somebody, but I didn't realize that was one of the questions. So I'll tag somebody. I will. Ooh, I know a couple I could tag. Yep, I do. We have some newbies on the YouTube streets, so I will make sure they get tagged. So thank you all for joining us. Don't forget to be kind because you don't know anybody else's journey. And I apologize if we rush through. You can go to the settings and slow it down so it's slower. But in the other video that we're recording today, you're going to see she's got to go to work. And I have things I have to do, but I wanted to get this done. So Terry didn't think we weren't going to do it because we love Terry and are so appreciative that she tagged us. So go check out Terry's channel too. Bye. Bye.